Here I am on this tiny island country called Cabo Verde. I've been here almost four years. And I will sail on to West Africa, but now is not the time. It's rainy season. Tropical storms are brewing, and it's not recommended to go there now. Too friggin' hot, wet, and apparently swarming with mosquitoes. Here in Cabo Verde, there's very little mosquitoes, and it doesn't get any hotter than maybe 85 degrees or so. And when it rains, the islands become truly Cabo Verde green that is if it rains well once you know it the rain never came it's just uh, gray and never had any precipitation so i never gathered any water from my uh tanks that's okay we're supposed to go to sound a few days uh, and uh when i fuel up i'm gonna fill up with water too just have to last two more days galopam needed a small but important fix before heading out this is a temporary solution that I've figured out for my traveler. Looks like that uh, piece of aluminum is going to break soon and I don't know if I have time to get that fixed by the time I go to uh, Sal on Saturday. So we're taking a family to Sal because they can't get an airplane or a boat to go to that airplane at Sal on the island of Sal. So I'm going to try this as a temporary solution. I'm going to use some of this stuff, plug it up as well as a little piece of um, copper tubing that uh, I found that was just the right size. That should hold hopefully, or at the very worst we could fix it in the uh, cell because I've had some work done over there. Well, it looks like my solution will work here. Instead of putting a shackle, I'm going to put in a soft shackle. And it's a little big for the hole, but check this out. There we go. That, I think, is going to be just fine. I don't know if I need to fix this piece in aluminum. I should have had a soft shackle here a long time ago. Before sailing out, I also like to clean my hull. Stuff grows here like crazy. And a clean hull makes a huge difference in speed. I will be sailing with Johnny, and he organized for my friend Koif to give Galapan a scrub. Johnny's a tough negotiator. He doesn't like to spend too much. So I told Koif that I would help. I'd already scraped the propeller and would do the bottom while he did the upper part. The water was warm and we were done in about an hour. Galopin was clean shaven. But it looks like a lot of my anti fouling is wearing off. I'm thinking of hauling out in Senegal when the weather is good. Well, that was a good workout. Cleaning the bottom of the boat with um, Koif. Now I've offered him a grog. Me and him deserve a grog after taka taka. That means uh, working. It's a slang here. <laughs> We're taking some people from the Canaries, Ricardo and his family, Lola, Avri, 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 okay, Ricardo, Lola, and Avri, and we can't forget Gianni. All right, let's see if we can fix this this autopilot problem. I've got another one, but let's see. Just as we left, my old autopilot controller just would not engage. They successfully changed the autopilot with the other autopilot, which kind of half works. It doesn't really work, but at least it works. Momo, it funciona. It's just that it works. I bought that controller used and it worked well for a while. But now, the knob to change the menus, degrees, etc. doesn't function. But, most importantly, it engages the autopilot and Galopin can hold its bearing. This kind of sucks because we're heading straight into the wind no matter what. So, you can't really hoist the sails. I think there's any point to tanking back and forth because we just won't get anywhere. And, uh, Ricardo, Lola, and uh, Avril have to get to South to catch a plane on Tuesday. And it's a 24-hour trip, maybe more. 
since we're going against the wind. And if we waited an extra day, we'd, it, it was even worse. So the wind was straight, straight in our face. So taking this window and it's kind of calm, but yet there's still some wind, but it's in our faces, man. We can't take advantage of it. <laughs> um, we've hoisted the mainsail to motor sail, just the mainsail, because we're really going against the wind here at um, about 30 degrees. It's given us a nut of extra speed and stabilized the boat a little bit better. So, I mean, we're really going right into the wind. So, we're trying to manage the conditions as best as we can. And it's not bad, at least it's nice, it's sunny, and the wind's not like busting us up in pieces. So, not bad, it's all right. It's time to add some ambiance, baby. My favorite mix of Cabo Verde classic hits. That's how we roll on Galapan. Once we got our bearing fixed and the sails trimmed, Galapin does his thing. I wish I could play some of the music on my playlist, but then I can't monetize this video. So this track will have to do. Even though we were heading out into the wind, we were doing okay at around five knots. We did tack twice so that we had a better angle on the wind and motor sailed on. Wind was light and about 30 degrees. And as you can see, all is pretty darn good. This is one of my favorite old Cabo Verde hits. I hear it a lot and never tire of it. <laughs> Trying to dance on a moving sailboat ain't easy. And I forgot, I got hip surgery. <laughs> I recently sent an email to the surgeon who fixed me up. She changed my life, really. I sent her a link to a video to show how well she did her job. Man, thank you from the bottom of my heart, Maya.
snack, we would settle in for the night. Tomorrow, we should make landfall. Well, we did it. We re-anchored the whole mess. The rudder of my boat was tangled up in this little yellow boat behind me. And we couldn't get it away. The wind was pushing us. And finally, guys came over to help. We were able to free Galopa and then spun back around, dropped the anchor over there, and then dropped it too close to this black boat. And I got my anchor tangled up in his line. <laughs> But now we're in a nice solid little anchorage is cool here. We're just waiting for the weather to change and for me to finish doing my uh, editing for my latest episode. It's Tuesday and uh, gotta finish that up tonight. And then we'll head out either Wednesday or Thursday. The weather seems okay. So that's the update, man. Always something going on here on these boats. It was great to have you along on this voyage. If you enjoyed your trip, give us a like and subscribe. You'll help us navigate better. Me and my boat Galapan promise you a good time every Wednesday. So welcome aboard. <laughs>